this mixing trick makes your MAP and the beat sound so much better. What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video and in this video I'm gonna create an MAP and the beat from scratch. I've also just released my new MAP piano gravity loop kit and I've also included 30 free samples so definitely go and check it out. The link will be in the description. So right now let's get started with the tutorial. So first let's adjust the BPM to 113 and then let's pick a shaker loop so I'm going to use the MAP piano paradise drum kit so let's use shaker loop four. As you can see, it's already adjusted to the BPM of the project. And right now let's start off with some simple keys. So I'm going to use the stage 73, which is an OS plugin for keys elements for MA piano beats. And then let's use this rooftop EP preset, which is a very simple and clean keys preset from the electric piano. And then we're gonna adjust the scale to A, let's say A, major and then the eon and this one so i'm going to start off with this chord a c and e then we're going to add the root note this a and then let's copy it and then let's say e copy it again let's say c let's move this one down That sounds beautiful. So copy it again. And then I'm gonna pick the note in between. So we have this C and this A. So the, so the note in between is this B. So I don't have another choice. So pick this one. And also let's remove this one. And then right now, a simple four by four chord progression sounds way too simple. So we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. And this is an easy trick. So we're gonna move this one a little bit to the left. I don't know how to call this kind of progression, but it just sounds really cool. So right now, we we'll just add a strumizer and you play around with the velocity and the strength until you like it. Beautiful. Sounds really cool. And by strumming it, it just sounds more humanic. So I definitely recommend that. So right now let's pick another synth. So right now let's pick a classic M piano synth. And definitely we need purity which is so easy to use. And let's say root wine. So let's use the recorder preset. And the easiest way how to pick a note is just a root note. So in this case, A. So I doubled it again. So right now it's way faster. Let's add another element. And right now we want to add a more unique element instead of using the same elements all over again. So let's use Serum, which is an awesome synthesizer. So definitely recommend using this one. So let's search for a guitar preset. So found this guitar preset, which sounds really cool, but way too much is going on. So let's disable some of the effects. So now let's start off right here. And the next note which we could use is this E. So that's it. I think it sounds really cool. But the plug sound in the beginning, I think is way too harsh. So let's add a little bit of a check. So it sounds like this, and then just add some more reverb. Sounds way much better. Definitely by adding the reverb. So I'll just drag this one into the arrangement. And right now I'm gonna add some loops from Cinematics. So I found this loop, and right now it's in C major. So I'm gonna show you how to transform any loop so you can use it in your project. So right now it's 155 BPM. So right mouse button on time, auto detect, and then we could use this function. But right now the BPM is already given. So we type in the BPM, 155. So right now it's stretched to the temp of the project. Then we want to resample it and set this to E3 generic. So right now it's pitch again to C major. And I picked a sample which is in C major. So it's way easier to pitch it so right now it sounds like this. So that sounds really cool. So right now we're going to slice it right here. 
So we're just left with this. And right now let's turn down the volume. And now we play around with the pitch. So right now let's just add another layer. So we're now dragged in this saxophone from the Jackass sample pack and it's in D sharp minor, but by accident it already sounds good without having to pitch it. So there's just a coincidence. So, but I think it sounds really cool. So right now let's link both of the elements to the mixer. I will now simply already add some reverb to the guitar. So I'm gonna use the Valhalla Vintage Verb. Sounds way much better. I'm going to do exactly the same for the Jagger sample. Also add a Valhalla Vintage Verb. You could also use the Fruity Reverb too, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna play around with the mix right now. Something like this. Just keep it very simple. So now let's say it's time to add some drums. So I'm gonna use the Emma Piano Paradise drum kit again. And let's start off with a kick. So this one is pretty much in the background, but that's exactly what I'm looking for. Then make sure you add them at the same volume. So that's 78%. That makes it way easier when mixing all the layers. So I've already pre-mixed the kick, so you don't have to adjust it. So, so that's a way better starting point. All right, now let's pick a snare. So let's use this one. So let's draw in a simple rhythm. That's it, so let's just copy this one. Then I'm going to make a small adjustment to the snare. So open up the envelope, I'm gonna play around with that tech. So I'm remove that ticking sound at the beginning of the sample. So I'm gonna add a wooden sample. So now let's add some more percussive layers. So I've added some more percussion. So right now we have three layers of high sounding percussions. Sounds very groovy. So we're filling up the high frequencies when it comes to the drums. And right now let's add some more mid frequencies. So I'm going to add a snare again. So let's use this one, which also doesn't contain a lot of attack, but it's a typical snare for Emma Piano. So that's it, I've adjusted it again, but I think it sounds very good. So let's add the next layer. And I want to add a unique element, so I'm gonna add this tambourine, which contains a lot of mid frequencies. And this is something we definitely need because we've added a lot of high frequencies. So I'm gonna use this one. Very unique rhythm. So the first thing which I come up with, and right now I'll just let's add some swing, 20%, and let's move on. And right now I'm thinking about adding some sums. So I'm gonna use this weird one. Playing along. And let's maybe add two or three toms. So let's add this deep one. So push it to E because otherwise it sounds way too low. So it already sounds like a full loop, but let's add some more layers. And in the end right now, maybe we have too much elements which contain the same frequencies, but in the end I'm gonna show you how to mix it and make it sound very clean. Maybe add another wooden percussion. This one. I remove, and I want to remove the reverb like this. Oh. So right now most of the elements are way too loud, so I'm gonna link them to the mixer and start playing around with the volumes. All right, now it's time to add the lock drum, which is the most fun. So I'm going to you see the extend again. And in case you missed it, I've released this Emma Piano Paradise drum kit and it includes 30 log drum presets, which you definitely have to check out. So in the free preview of this sample pack, I've also included some of those presets. So right now let's pick a random one, 21. This one sounds really cool. Crank up the volume and then play it at A3. 
So that's a nice rhythm. So let's copy it again. But we're now still missing the low frequency. So I'm going to use Serum again. You could use any plugin you want, as long as it's just a simple sine wave. And a sine wave is this simple waveform like this, like this, and I play around with the envelope. So this sign sounds really good. So we're gonna rename this one to bass, paste it in. Adds a lot of power to the log drum. You could use a distortion, a soft clipper, but also a boiled in. Distortion. So we're adding some crisp at the end, and this just adds a lot of harmonics to the log drum. And then you want to link it to the mixer. I use an EQ, and then remove those high crispy frequencies because we don't want them in a log drum. Those harmonics are also added to a low frequencies. So this is an easy trick how to create a clean sound in log drum. So we got a 30 dB per octave. So. So right now the log drum sounds really full and bouncy. So let's play it all together. And then we also want to add a simple bass line for the bridge part. So I use Serum again. And then we're gonna use two saw wave oscillators and this sub, and then pitch one down one octave. And then we're gonna add some unison to this one. So it sounds like this, and then turn on everything, and then we set it to MG low 24. Now we're creating this a really cool bass line. So let's disable those ones, and then we're gonna just draw in the root notes again. For now, you want to create the arrangement. So remove those ones, then open up the pattern picker and then select split by channel. And then just drag in all the layers. And right now you can start off creating the arrangement. So I'm gonna arrange this beat, mix it, master it and show you the final result in a second. So guys, this is the final arrangement. I spent some time mixing this one. So this is my mixing structure. So we have a low bus, so I've linked those layers to this bus and then I've glued it together using the glue and then I've used a gentle two parallel compression bus and I did the same for all those elements so snares I've added some panning so for example the high percussions first I've added this turn to blend it together just a soft two preset then I've used a glue full parallel compression just to make sure we're removing all the high peaks in the signal and then a simple EQ because I didn't like the peak around 2000 Hertz. So this one is way too aggressive and by creating a bus we stream all those layers into one bus and then we could easily make some tweaks and we're compressing it and in the end this will give us more headroom when we're mixing and mastering the beat. So I'm going to play the first one and a half minute of this beat so guys I hope you enjoy it and if you have any question about how I mix this beat definitely go and leave your question in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoy it. coming in. So the elements sound really wide. Switch up the log drum. together and play together with the keys, the chords. 
saxophone coming in. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for new videos and leave a like if you like the outcome of this beat. And if you have a question, definitely go and drop it in the comments. So I hope you have a great day and create some awesome beats. See you.